Hi guys, again, welcome to 2018. So, in the last year, there's one stock, it's a Chinese stock that everyone is talking about, even in the West or in the East, because that is Tencent. So, after listening to the name, I thought that the name is pretty weird, right? Like, Ten cents, right? But it's actually a translation of the sound of the pronunciation from the Chinese, and that's the name. But forget about it and forget about the story. The main thing is about this stock has been yielding around 20% compound return every single year in the past almost two decades. So for the last year, it's been going up from $180 per share to $440 per share. So everyone loves to know what is Tencent, okay? So there are three reasons why Tencent has been growing like that and would it change in 2018 and 2019. Today, we'll talk about that. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and like my Facebook page. You'll be one of the first ones to watch my latest videos. So what is Tencent? So Tencent, you can say that is Google. That's it, okay? But it's Chinese version of Google. So in the West, if you want to watch movie, talk to your friends, and then check Facebook, and play games, you have to have Netflix, YouTube, WhatsApp, Nintendo, EA Sport, PayPal, and Visa for payment and Facebook, right? So in China, it's only Tencent. Yes, only one. With one app, you can talk to your friends, you can purchase movies, tickets, you can purchase food, you can use the payment, you can watch video, you can listen to music. Everything is from Tencent. Okay, how could this happen? Yes, because first reason is because China is really, really a protective country. We all know that the content is censored, right? That's exactly why Google has been developing its business in China, but they quit it and leave China because of the content censorship problem and also some political issues, right? That's exactly why this system allows companies like Alibaba and Tencent to grow within this country without any interruption from outside until they became a unicorn and they're ready to fight. They now attack the West and attack the Europe and attack the United States, right? So you would say that that's so unfair, right? Yes, I agree. I really do agree. But that's the fact, right? We always know there's some games that are really unfair in China and unfair in Europe and also in US, right? But more, yes, more in China, right? But the fact is, this stock is going up. That is only my job to explain what is Tencent. So because of this thing, everyone, including gaming industry, or if you're making automobile industry, if you want to kick in the Chinese market, you always have to find a Chinese company to cooperate. For example, Candy Crush, you have to cooperate with Tencent. For example, Activision Blizzard, you have to split 50% of the profit with Tencent, with Tencent doing nothing at all. And if you are making a car, for example, Nissan from Japan, you have to cooperate with the Chinese automobile industry. That is how China rolls. So, in the foreseeable future, we will change. You have to ask one thing. Are the content issues, are the censorship problems, and the political issues are going to be more free in the near future? The answer is no, because there are two news. First of all, they are banning all the VPN websites right now. So, in the past, there are almost no policies at all, right? So, you can through the VPN going to watch Google, watch news from outside and YouTube from outside. That is exactly, yes, Chinese have been doing that for many years. So not that they're completely censored. They chose to believe what they believe because they're taught to be like that. So now they're banning like that, right? For example, WhatsApp, Google, there's no way they will survive. And the second news is about Bitcoin. There's only one country they can ban this currency completely last year is China. So which country can do that? There's none. So in the foreseeable future, the censorship problem will not be more free. So that is exactly why as soon as the Chinese economy is growing, Tencent and Alibaba is not getting most of the pie, they're getting all the pie. Okay, that's exactly why Tencent is growing really fast in the past and will be growing in 2018 and 19. The second reason is because they have a lot of cash. That is exactly like Google. Because some com companies like Apple and Samsung, they have cash, right? But they have nothing to invest in. So Google has been investing in everything. I mean everything and Amazon. So they do not have leftover cash. 
they invest every single dollar and they will earn more dollars in the future. That's exactly why Tencent is copying the same thing and doing the same thing. They purchase transportation, they purchase e-commerce, gaming, online video, food delivery, everything you can think of as long as they can earn money or they can earn the data. Everything is about converting the data correctly and converting the data to money. That is exactly what Tencent is doing. So, because the cash flow is really strong. Look at Tencent free cash flow. It's been triple in the past three years. Not to mention that the earnings is more than triple, right? That's the second reason. There's one reason we have to watch out because the free cash flow is growing, but it's really thin. Because, for example, they're earning 10 billion, but they're spending 9.9 .9 billion. So really thin. So as soon as the algorithm or their one or two big investment has failed, then the free cash flow will become negative. But that is not because they are good at it, their knowledge is good, they have good experience. It's all about the big data. They're making smart decisions. They're making smart investment, just like point three that I'm going to talk about right now. So point three is about gaming. If you don't know that the gaming industry is so big in the East that people pay millions of dollars in the gaming industry just to purchase an armor, just to purchase a weapon, just to purchase anything. For my generation, it's really hard to understand. In my generation, I played gaming, I sold it for a couple of hundred or maybe thousands but right now the scale and the amount is tremendous, it's outrageous, I can't think of that. But with or without me, the gaming industry is going on and it's growing a lot. It's around 50% of Tencent revenue. So right now, as you know, Supercell and Riot, Candy Crush and everything you know in the top three in the gaming industry is owned by Tencent. Okay? So right now, in the Chinese, I'm not talking about international, I only talk about Chinese gaming industry. It's been growing every year. It's now challenging 40 billion, 40 billion dollars industry. So right now, there's a game called Battlegrounds. It's owned by Tencent, it's attacking the Europe. So latest news is that the registered user is already 100 million users registered. And that is again owned by Tencent. So the last thing is we are looking at 2017, the earning growth was expected to be 50%. But again, we talk about investment, right? 2017 is really an old news. But we have to look at if you invest in Tencent, if you have an IB account, you have an E-Trade account, you can just invest in it. The code is 700.hk. So in 2018, the earning is expected to grow for 33%. So it's about the future, it's not about the past. So with that being said, the most updated fair price is calculated to be $576 per share. It's now only $400 per share. And this calculation, I did it last year May. I said it was $300 and at that time it's $200. So to conclude, two things that they have threatened Tencent. The first one is the Chinese economy. The second one is the gaming industry. If one of those two is going down and Tencent is going down, but that is about the macro's point of view. Because in terms of micro point of view, about big data, about bargaining power, about how protective the Chinese government is, every one of these issues is all settled. So we really have to understand this stock again. So if you have the portfolio for the East and also portfolio for the West, just like me, yeah, you're pretty much diversified. Hopefully in 2018, your stock portfolio will be healthy and your portfolio will be growing and appreciating stably. That's the main point. Investing be easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.